Hey, this is Luigi Fresh Painter 2 on a Thursday. Uh, this particular video is a little different on the fish segment. Um, I told you I have a, uh, a similar job of what, what I've been doing in terms of counseling, um, but I do have an office now, and I'm actually going to do a video from my office uh, next time because the, it's kind of all related to what I'm going to talk about. I wanted to, since I have an office now, I wanted to actually have something, you know, that's part of me in terms of fish or something like that. You know, as I told you before, I had a, a turtle in my old school. I have fish and turtle and blah, blah, blah. And I'm always talking about that. So I wanted something like that, but I didn't want a fish where I had to kind of change water. And, and since I'm in an office and I share this office suite with uh, five other people, and I was like, oh, look, Lewis is changing the water, you know, and that's no. So, uh, I wanted to get something that was a closed ecosystem. If you look back on my, uh, on my social media this past week, um, I talk about what is an ecosystem and a closed ecosystem on Tuesday and Thursday. So what I'm talking about here is an actual closed ecosystem. And it is based on something called an ecosphere. But I want to say again, and I'm going to say it again in a minute. I know ecosphere is a registered trademark. And I know YouTube is very big on, on catching those things. So I want to be very clear that I understand it is a registered trademark and ecosphere. So let me show you what I decided uh, to do with this ecosphere. And that is going to stay actually in my home office, which is where I am right now. I was very long winded to show you this ecosphere is a closed ecosystem. And it, I use a snow globe there because uh, it kind of looks like one. Let me show you what it looks like. I am trying not to disturb the little ecosphere. Uh, you'll notice here the little shrimp. You will notice there's a little algae going on in there. You will notice uh, there are four shrimp in there. I, I, I know there are because I just, I just triple checked. And uh, they are there. And here, this is a light source. And this is the light source. And notice it is far enough away where it is not impeding too much on this. So let's see what the heck this is. I'm trying not to move it and I'll show you why. Things that you should do to this thing called the ecosphere that is a closed ecosystem. You need six to eight hours of light and temperature between 60 and 80 degrees. That I got covered with my friend, the air conditioner and my friend, the window. And so that I got covered. What you, what you should not do, do not expose to direct sunlight. In other words, don't, don't put it outside. Don't put it on a windowsill. Do not handle it too much. That's why when I showed it to you, I, I've literally been there for about two weeks and trying not to disturb the, the whole thingamajig. So don't handle it too much. Don't let it go dark for more than 60 hours because it does have, which I'll share in a little bit, that algae in there and so I don't I don't want to disturb that and it, excuse me and so that's why I don't want it to go dark uh, place anywhere that emits heat like uh, heating radiators for those people who live up north you know what I'm talking about uh, equ uh, uh, computer equipment it is near a printer but it is really dormant as you see so there is no heat source around it, no heat source. So do not shake or drop. As you see my little guy with the maracas there, don't shake it, don't drop it, because that glass is fragile. But do not treat it roughly or place it in front of a window. What is in this trademark ecosphere? There is a uh, shrimp, you see. there is algae, did you see there? Uh, I had to look up this word, Gorgonia. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Uh, since I, this is a salt water thing, this is not fresh water, this is salt water, all right? Uh, Gorgonia is exactly that. That's sort of that. I know on the instructions, which are right here, the instructions tell you that that is non-living. You see, non-living? But for some reason, mine seems to be growing, as you see. See the light brown? It is growing. So that is uh, very much alive. Shells, which I don't see it. And the gravel, which is that white, 
little thing here. Let's see, that's the gravel. So, that's that. I also, while I'm at it, let me show you. It did come with, because I, I ordered it, because I thought I was gonna bring it to work to my office, uh, and there's my little China, China doll plant. Uh, I was gonna bring it to work with me, but I decided not to, because you see that? That, that, that is LED lights. And I thought I bought a timer for it, as you see a little timer, and I was gonna put it, and I decided not to because I do, when I show you my video next time about my plants uh, that I bought, I have three potted plants there now, uh, instead of this guy. Um, and I was afraid that it was gonna get too much sunlight and I don't want that algae to over, overflow, overgrow. So that's why I just wanted to show it to you. And while I'm at it, I wanted to show you that's where it, that came in, the little uh, LED light. And it also came in this really cool box. It came that right here, that is where the ecosphere is. And that is where Kali is. And you'll see that the light, as Kali checks it out, that's where the box is. So it kind of packaged really well. So it handled, you know, the throwing around in the, in the, uh, what do you call that thing? In the post office. So and I like it. I like how it came packaged and Troy does too, as you can see. So I just wanted to cover that because I took out the box and I wanted to show it to you. And I know people love unboxing stuff. And eventually when I talk a little bit about a, about a filter, I, I have to save the box. I know people love boxes. So that's why I wanted to show that to you. Now, as I continue here is what does the shrimp eat? What do the shrimp eat? They eat the algae and the invisible bacteria. Remember connections. Now talk about fish, fish, any type of fish, marine, because this is a uh, salt water and uh, fresh water. The bacteria is the critical, critical, critical element that keeps these animals alive. And this too also has invisible bacteria. But I also want to show you these shrimp one more time so I could explain a little bit more. Uh, you again can see the little shrimp there. You see the shrimp? Those shrimp, they're actually, I said salt water, and I love YouTube because you learn so much on YouTube. Um, I, I, I learned that these shrimp, that's a good angle there of the shrimp. Uh, they are called Cal they are from Hawaii, Hawaiian uh, shrimp. And uh, I, I checked out a couple of videos on this ecosphere, and uh, I heard that they live, these shrimp, 10, 13, 14, 15 years because uh, especially since there are no predators in here. And uh, so those, those, are, those are Hawaiian shrimp and they do indeed eat that algae and the invisible um, bacteria. And I've had this here for about two weeks, two full weeks. So that's why I wanted to make sure that they all kind of lived before I, uh, before I shot this video. So they're all doing really well, there's four of them. And sometimes they're swimming around like crazy, but I guess they're right now they're a little camera shy. How does it work? That is the little picture that they show on how this closed ecosystem, because that's what it is, an ecosystem, the, the organisms together, the group of organisms in their, in their environment and this closed ecosystem, because it doesn't require anything from the outside. This is what is, what, how it works. And so I actually wrote it down for you to make it a little, a little easier. The light energy grows the algae, the green stuff that I showed you multiple times now. Algae provides food and oxygen to the shrimp. And then the shrimp, they will obviously eat it. And the shrimp emit CO2 as we do and waste as we do and which also feeds that bacteria and that bacteria in turn feeds the algae so it's all as you can see all interconnected and that's why i wanted it for my office at work but i honest besides uh the idea that i, I was concerned about the light and i was concerned about the the led light but the other real concern of what, why I decided to keep it at home and to keep it where I have, and this is my home office, is um, I was afraid that a cleaning lady would come by. And I understand, I'm not just saying this is negative. I would do the same thing. She would think of it as a, sort of like a, a paperweight or some type of snow globe and by mistake move it around or drop it or oh my God, what's going on? And uh, I just didn't want that to happen. And so that's why I decided not to. Moving on. And this is my last slide, the longevity of this, of this uh, ecosphere, uh, closed ecosystem, is it should last about two to three years. It can exceed 10 years. 
uh, because uh, like I said, these, these shrimp do live a long time, these Hawaiian shrimp. And shrimp rarely rarely reproduce, but I, that, if you look on YouTube and you look on Google, you will see that they have reproduced for some people. Uh, I'm hoping, my, I'm, I'm one of them, uh, I'm hoping. Algae and bacteria are constantly reproducing because the shrimp are eating them and they're constantly, uh, you know, regenerating. And so it's it literally is a closed ecosystem with about, with four, three or four shrimp, in my case is four, and it, it there it's just there and it's and I don't have to do anything to it. It would be nice if I press the button before I talk. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you one more time and uh, I hope you liked it because I re I really liked it. I, I'm I'm fascinated by the whole thing and and that I really don't have to do a thing, nothing, zero to it. Uh, truly, and it thrives. So. Here we are, this is my grand finale. You see my little shrimp there, and you see the little ecosphere, and um, I love it. I ordered it on Amazon. I think it's a wonderful little thing. Uh, like I said, I really, I haven't touched it, and I don't want to touch it. Uh, it's doing well there, and um, I'm really happy with it. And I hope you enjoyed this little fish segment, and uh, I'm planning on next segment to be from my actual office with my three plants, and I have three plants there, and tell you a little bit about them. So that's it. This is Louis D. Fresh.